Hey everyone, it's Apollo here. I have a review of G&G Scar. Alright, got this baby from Rebel Airsoft. I already took it out of the box and everything for you to save some time. I'm going to go over some of the basic stuff about this gun. Alright, when you get it, it'll come with one 400 round G&G metal high cap. Alright, it will come with a tan bipod foregrip. I got rid of that. I, I personally don't like it. I like my um, my pistol style grip here with uh, the compartment in it for batteries. I have a flashlight and laser on it that just attaches to the rail, which did not come with it. The gun is made of Plastic and metal. The upper receiver and the rails are CNC aluminum, or so I've been told. Uh, the handle is plastic for the charging handle. Plastic bolt release. Uh, I believe this is a plastic bolt release. Uh, plastic mag release. Plastic switches. Ambidextrous mag and switch, uh, fire selector switch though, metal sights, uh, metal outer and inner barrel. It came with a plastic flash hider, but it also came with a black metal flash hider, which I put on. Uh, rubber butt cheek, plastic sock, stock is adjustable, six positions, normally I keep mine at like right around three. Three position adjustable cheek rest. Uh, comes with sling mounts, one up here, one up here, one there, one there and there. I use a one point bungee. The bolt stop does work. It just gets stuck sometimes. Uh, Overall, like quality of it, I'm very, very happy with the the external body of the gun. The stock isn't flimsy at all; it's pretty solid. It does wobble a little bit. No wobble in the barrel, though, obviously. Uh, fire selector is kind of tough to get moving right when you first get it. But over time, it loosens up a little bit, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, the holo sight does not come with a gun, but this is a GMP holo that I have on here. Pop up's decent. The inner barrel, it's the GMG Type 4 inner barrel. I believe it's a 6.04. It's not that great. I just ordered a. JBU 6.01 that I'm going to be throwing in there. I'll have a fire test when it's nicer out. But pretty decent gun. Accuracy is good. Uh, first game with it, I got eight kills. Uh, good engagement range. Pop ups located in here. Pull back the charging handle and zoom in for. Hop-up's located right in here. It's a clear plastic hop-up. I don't... I know that it's a little bit funky. So I don't know if you'd be able to replace it with anything. But I'm looking for that. Also, the gun came with... If I can find it real quick. Packet came with an instructional DVD that will show you how to completely disassemble your new star all the way down to the version 2 gearbox which is in there but maintenance DVD the manual that it came with very nice completely in English not in Chinese or Taiwanese or Japanese at all There's, it's 100% English even for the little artwork drawings in it. Come 
comes with complete part list. So if you ever need to order parts from G&G, shows you how to maintain the gun, shows you the how to lube it, the whole nine yards. Very, very impressed with G&G for uh, doing this. Shows you the different types of version scars too, from the prototype all the way to the G&G Scar L, which is what you get. But very impressed with the gun. Very, very sturdy feel. If anything else, it's fun to have. Not, not a lot of good scars out there. Uh, I haven't seen many reviews on the G&G Scar. I'll show up a shooting review for you, but I haven't had time to chrono it. It's, from what I heard, supposedly between 300 and 330 FPS. The de-jamming rod that I got, the cleaning rod, feels a little bit flimsy material, unlike other cleaning rods. I know it's just a cheap cleaning rod, but... And then you have your front sight adjustment tool. Oops. Important thing with the sights, the front sight here, there's a small button that you need to press in in order to adjust the sight up and down. So be sure to do that when you get it. Don't just try and force it down because you might break it. The rear sight, however, just flips right up, flips down. It's adjustable left and right, up and down for windage and all that fun stuff. But I don't use them because I have my holo sight zeroed in. Very nice gun, very easy to handle, good weight to it. Um, I'll show a shoot and review once I, uh, like once I said, the weather gets better. But very nice gun, easy to use. Um, definitely good buy if you're looking for a good scar. But, alright, uh, if you have any questions, just throw them in the comment box, and I will try and answer you as best as I can. Alright, thank you.